The fossilized bones of the Ardonix celeste, a small-headed herbivore, were unveiled to the media in South Africa on Wednesday, November 11th, to coincide with the publication of the scientists' findings in the proceedings of the Royal Society B, a London-based peer-reviewed journal. Australian paleontologist Adam Yates led the international research team. Yates explains that from the very first day of the dig, they were aware that this was something special. The first day of digging, we started exposing large bone after large bone, bones far too large to belong to any mass of spondylus, and with many anatomical features that suggested that uh, this was not just another pile of mass of spondylus bones. We had something new and very, very exciting. So excavation continued through 2006. We had two trips in 2006 and another big trip in 2007 and the last trip earlier this year in 2009. The findings show that Ardanex Celeste walked on its hind legs but could drop to all fours and stood nearly six feet high at the hip. It was about 10 years old when it died and weighed about 1,100 pounds. Yes, so this is a new uh, jewel in the uh, crown of South Africa's heritage and um, it's particularly significant because it's uh, a very intermediate type of dinosaur. It sits very squarely between two different basic types of dinosaur. Uh, an earlier bipedal type of dinosaur that we can loosely call prosauropods and a more advanced gigantic four-legged type of dinosaur uh, that we call sauropods. The team is working on the bones of two other specimens found at the site and have also unearthed some giant teeth believed to belong to a mysterious carnivorous dinosaur.